Squarespace, thanks for helping with the video. Oh, you hold it up to your life. Oh my god. Okay, welcome to the 2023 WISP tour. Now, if you don't know what WISP stands for, it stands for Wireless Internet Service Provision. So I've got my list of things that I want to try and show you throughout today's video. We've got the actual core of the network. I want to take you to some mi mi micro pops. My, my, my. People ask me on Instagram all the time, send me messages, Alex, can I get your internet? The answer is probably no. I'll answer why in this video, hopefully. People always ask me, obviously, how much I make. Shocker, it's not loads, but we'll discuss that. And also, people also say, should I set up my own internet service? Service provision. Uh, the short answer is no, not really, because it's hard. I've just come off the phone with Virgin complaining to them about something. If you're calling about if you have already clicked, if you'd like to talk to the data bomb, fancy trying our new messaging service. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's also absolutely fine because we're going to start from where we began the core network, and all of this will make sense. Wowzers. My old bedroom. God, this is throwing back some memories, this. I know, it's a proper throwback, isn't it? It is, yeah. A lot's changed. My desk was over here. Literally. Oh, sorry, there we go. Hat lens. <laughs> Bathroom's changed. Oh my God. Yeah, this is nice. Whoa. So that's the steam room. <laughs> so welcome to the attic or the loft space at my father's house. Now I installed this black server cab. I want to say, five or six years ago now, which is really, really scary. Now you can't just resell the normal internet that you have at home. You have to have what's called a leased line or your own internet circuit, your own connection to the internet. So all of my clients, and we'll talk more about clients and how many I've got towards the end of the video, connect back to here. I've got the lease line, which is my connection to the internet. That then connects into this tiny box here. This is called an edge router four, and this basically does everything. It manages the whole thing. So you're probably thinking to yourselves, Alex, how do you actually get clients? How do people actually pay you for internet? And the most important question is how do you connect them to this box that's in the loft of your dad's house? So there's one and two there, and then down the roof line, we have another two here. So this one on the top, this is called a sector antenna, and this is providing broadband to basically all the people in the local area. And then this one that I'm super close to now that says RF elements on it, this is called a backhaul link, and this is linking out to another one of my micro pop sites. And then this lone dish up here, this one is going off to a small little hotel about five miles away that way. Now I'm going to answer a few questions. Can you buy broadband from me? And you should because it's really good. The short answer is no. The wireless technology that I use to spread my broadband around is in the 5 gigahertz range and this requires line of sight, meaning to receive broadband from me, if you stand on your roof, you need to be able to see, physically see, one of my antennas. So that's why the answer is no. Money. How much money does my WISP currently earn me? So back at my father's house in the loft, you saw the core. And around my father's house, there's a load of neighbors that buy broadband from me via this antenna on the roof. At my dad's, I've got about nine clients paying on average 60 pounds a month for broadband. And that comes in at something like 540 pounds. Now this is where it gets interesting. You know that dish that I mentioned that sends it out to what I like to call micro pop sites? A micro pop is basically a site which broadcasts internet out, but it also receives its internet wirelessly. So this dish below the sector at my dad's sends it out to another location, a micro pop, and then at that location, there's another antenna which serves the people in that local area. Now later on in this video, I'm gonna take you to one of my active micro pop sites so you can see what these things actually look like. Now all of my clients pay me varying amounts of money for the connections that they receive depending on the speed and their current financial situation. But you can imagine if one site is paying me £540 and you've got 9 or 10 of these micro pop sites kicking around, it can soon add up. This is recurring income. Now let's go and visit one of these sites. Okay, so we are here. I got a text from the guys this morning that are helping me with this install, and they said they put a bigger pole up for me, which is gonna be really, oh my, 
Oh my, that is so sick. Oh, I've never been, I've never been so excited over a piece of wood before. <laughs> oh, that is unreal. So this is a micro pop. Basically, it's a place in the world where we don't have internet. We're bringing internet to that location wirelessly and then rebroadcasting that out to other people. This is one of my micro pops, not the big pole, the one behind it. The dish brings it in and then the antenna on top rebroadcasts it. But it's been failing and we need some height, which is what our new pole is for. Now my job today is to take this monstrosity down, which is wobbling in the wind, and put it up this pole. It's just unreal, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> Look at me and my big pole. And here is a closer look at a micro pop. This is an ISO 400, so this brings in 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And then this is a Rocket AC, gives out 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So basically I've made this contraption because it's super high up there. The camera I don't think does it much justice. It's very, very high. I'm gonna go up there and drill these L brackets to the post so I've then got a place to mount my actual antenna system. Up there, it's windy on the ground level. Up there, yeah, I'm just risking my life, so it's really not worth it. But whilst we're here, we need to sort out power because, yes, this is all well and good, drilling it up and it working, but how are we gonna get power to this location? A little something called POE, or power over ethernet. This is 100 meters of the stuff, and we've got to run it from here all the way over there. <laughs> So as you can see, 100 meters of POE or Ethernet ran from our power source over there. The chaps are gonna come back tomorrow and put this cable in the ground for me, but that is the least of our worries. I'm wrapped up for today because it's too windy. We've got a load done. I've seen the site, it's sick. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and finish it up. So back here for the next day, I've managed to get the ladder up. I've got it secured at the top. I've dismantled here the old system. It was all on this pole. Basically because everybody's come together, we've put this pole in, this is looking sick. I wanna go above and beyond and I'm gonna paint all of this equipment black just because I think it'll blend in better. So by the end of it all, I'm going to have three radios up on the top there. And as you can see, I've pre-terminated these Ethernet runs and labeled two of them so I know which ones are which. It is crazy tall, but it seems a lot less windier than yesterday. So cables have been run down. This is the dish that's bringing the internet in. I'm gonna take this up there and try and decipher the best location to put it with the strongest signal. So the link is online. I've literally just put the pole up, put the dish on it. I haven't point, well, pointed it in the general direction. And as you can see, we're getting a solid 100 meg each way, which is bonkers. When I align this thing, it will get even better. Okay guys, so I was installing the other day and I got rained off, but just in time, I managed to get this thing finished and it looks wicked. So this is the brand new micro pop. Let me take you through it. So the big dish in the middle, that brings the broadband in from another one of my sites. So this is actually two hops away from the actual core network 
in my father's loft, which is bonkers. And then on this side, I've got two antennas that broadcast the signal out. There's an omnidirectional, which means 360 degrees on the top, that's the big pole. And then there's a 90 degree sector antenna lower down to serve some clients, which I've already got signed up and I'm installing for next week. I should probably talk about this as well because I know it's the most interesting thing for most of you, money from this site. So I've already got three clients confirmed to install. That should be giving me about £150. So technically this thing is earning me £150 a month and it's literally only just got up. There's so many other houses around here that could do with my help. So that number should hopefully only go up. So let's go and install this house. Now over the last couple of days I've installed for both of these clients here. There's two houses next to me. Now it's time consuming but other than that it really is simple. There's a receiver on each of these houses and then basically I've ran a cable down from the receiver into the house where the router, or for you Americans, the router will sit. It really is that simple. You then make a Wi-Fi network, the clients connect to it, they enjoy the broadband. So this client is on a 50 meg package and as you can see I always like to overdo it so my clients are happy when they run speed tests. Now obviously the speeds are ace next to the router however this house is quite large so when you move away from the router the speeds decrease. To get around this issue I'm going to put numerous Wi-Fi points in this house so the client's happy. Router installed or Wi-Fi point installed and as you can see I call it down two speeds not up two so it goes faster and then down to the speed that they pay for which I think is a better way to do it. Okay so what a crazy last week this has been. I've really enjoyed it. I've installed a new micro pop, put some new clients on it and managed to show you guys at the same time which I don't know if you appreciate but is a really hard thing for me to be able to do because I can't usually film this sort of stuff. But going back to what I said at the start of the video, I've just watched the video back and I make all of this stuff look a lot easier than it actually is. I need to say a massive thanks to my friend Ross who helped me configure the actual core network back in the day. We've got a storm currently uh, overhead in the UK. I've got clients texting me this morning saying the internet's not as fast as it should be. Annoyingly, it's wireless and rain does affect it. It's not plain sailing this business at all. But my clients understand the physics of it and therefore understand that when it rains, it can go off or be slower. Now, obviously I'm trying to grow this business step by step but I am aware of the inevitable future that full fiber one day will take over and therefore at some point in the future there will literally be no need for me to do what I'm doing today. But right now all I know is that I'm earning money and at the same time helping people out and that makes me feel really good. Now, the way this business model works is that it's recurring income, right? So you sign X amount of clients up to a package, they pay you every single month and that's really, really good because it's not one-off payments and you get the ability to forecast income and turnover because you know how many clients you have, they're hopefully not gonna leave so you can say in this month I'm gonna have this much money coming in and that is a really good thing from a security standpoint. A few things that I like to do to separate myself from the rest because I live in the middle of nowhere so I'm not the only person out where I live doing this. A lot of people actually charge for the install as to which I don't. I provide the equipment and fund that out of the company as to which the only money I expect off the clients is the monthly direct debit for the broadband itself. So if I can approach somebody and say, I can provide you a better, faster service, I can also do it for free without any install cost, and all you have to do is pay the monthly bill for the broadband, a lot of people absolutely love that. And I think I get a lot of my clients as well because they're not ringing a call center if something goes wrong. They text me or call me on a personal level, and I think, I don't think you can really put a price on that. 
How do I actually take payments from clients? It's really simple. I use a service called Go Cardless. You can set up numerous tiers with numerous prices attached, and then you can go ahead and email the clients that link once they've signed up. You will start receiving direct debits from them, and it really is that simple. I have a referral link to Go Cardless. I'll put it in the description. If you sign up to Go Cardless and start taking payments through there, you'll get a 300 quid if you use my link, and so will I. So if you do, thank you. I don't go knocking door to door to door and asking for people to sign up to my service because that's just not me. A lot of my clients come from word of mouth, which I think is the best way of advertising because if I provide a great service to somebody and then they go to their neighbor and say, hey, I've had Alex around and he's put the broadband in and it's really good, then they might go ahead and buy it too. It's word of mouth, that's the best way to do it. However, I do have a Squarespace website and thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I've been using Squarespace for my websites for years and years and years and they have never once let me down. You can choose from one of the thousands of readily available templates and then basically you can customize it and make it look like you've made it. Put all your own pictures and text on there and you can take the credit for it. It's not only building a website though, they handle things like the domain which is the actual website name. They've got SEO on there so you can see how your website is gonna appear on search engines like Google so you can see what people are going to click on. They've got e-commerce, you can sell things on your Squarespace website if you want to, if you've got a product which is sick. And it is all just in the one package. So if you do want to save yourself 10% off your first Squarespace purchase of domain, simply type in code MarsBar with a Z or go to squarespace.com forward slash MarsBarVlogs. That's been the Wisp Tour for 2023, guys. I'll see you next year for the 2024 Wisp Tour. And I guarantee not much will have changed because I've taken over a lot of the area around where I live and there isn't really much more room for expansion now. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.